what I found very interesting on a psyche level when I was young, I was far more active because there was something to fight against. And it's almost, it runs parallel to the issues around South African prejudice against black people. So when homophobia, well, well, homosexuality was illegal, it was easy to fight it. It was very easy to fight it because you knew that that was wrong. So you fought it. Now that it is legal, uh, I mean, <laughs> yes, yeah, you know. <laughs> nice to know uh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> but um, it's almost like the fight is the struggle is over now. What? And and I found myself sitting in the back seat. And I will tick. I was talking to somebody yesterday about ticking the box on, on, on the rhino issue. And I was ticking the box on don't club the seals. But I hesitated when somebody wanted to tick. I want, they asked me to tick the like box on, on homophobia. Um, and I questioned that in myself. What was that about? It's not that I, and, and I've stated quite clearly that I'm open in a way. Um, but why, what was that fear in me? And, and if there is a fear in me to go public on a, on a, a Facebook page. Um, it wasn't that ticking, yes, homophobia is gone. Oh, what? Well, it's reflecting on me on, on a whole. Why? Why am I feeling, feeling these? Uh, was it shame or was it um, embarrassment? And why am I feeling that? Why am I feeling that? That's bullshit. I'm living my life I'm in an open situation. Um, it's difficult because you're putting yourself up on a platform now and you're becoming public. No, indeed. You're, you're putting your, your completely private life that you're completely happy with and all of your friends and family are happy with. You're mm. putting that out there for other people to judge you. Yeah. And it is, uh, it, it reflects on, on, on really the society that judges you. But um, it does. Uh, but I suppose maybe, maybe, maybe in this whole, whole exercise in this week for me has been stepping stepping out of that point of of not ticking the like box on a statement against and serious things i mean i'm talking about very very serious things like corrective rape for les black lesbians in south africa really yeah yeah it's yeah <laughs> well it's just violence it's, just it's violence I mean, it, it's just yeah it's savage it, it's but institutional yeah uh, i mean i think there's two levels of that i think that 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 there's a high level of violence from South African men against South African women, or just women generally, um, and, and there's all sorts of social issues that 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 bring bring come to the fore on that issue. But um, and then there's the homophobia on top of that. But why why am I, as an open lesbian, not ticking the box saying I'm standing against that? It's such a, I can tick the nice little happy don't club the, the fluffy lovely seals, but I can't tick that box. And I sat there and I questioned that whole thing. Um, and maybe that in the back of my mind when somebody asked the question, you know, uh, yes, of course I'm a lesbian. I'm not going to lie. That's, that's in my nature. I'm not going to hide in a thing. But standing here is maybe stepping and, and ticking that box and starting to say that. It does make a it's difference. Something else was saying earlier, exactly. The same yeah. as saying standing up with your mm. head above the parapet. Yeah. And standing up in the crowd for that. Yeah. No, indeed. Then, then rather than blending in. You want everybody to support it, but you don't want to stand up above everybody else and be picked out. No, because I mean, there's that tall poppy thing, you know, uh, society wants to chop it down. I mean, I've seen that because I'm fairly outspoken. I'm, I'm not, I mean. Which is kind of like that. No, I think <laughs> the, the globe is like that. Yeah. Let's be honest about that. Uh, we are all like that. Um, just, just me being vocal. You, I, I've had several instances on, on many levels where everybody will come and say, "Oh, la 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 la," you know, this is terrible. This, is, okay, fine. I'll bring it up and I'll stand up, and um, then I'll turn around and say, "Well, yes," and 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 I'm not standing alone here. And I turn around and I so I'm standing yeah. alone. <laughs> it's like, you know, yeah. shot down and chopped down short. So it is a scary position to be. But as you say, I think that, that the more people that do come to that podium and do stand up, then the, the others that feel the way but don't have the courage will possibly come and stand up. And then yeah. and the poppy field will grow. La, la, la. Just that mm -hmm. like, And I think it's great that you, yeah. you've not stood, in a way, I think it's great you've not stood up. You've just, you're just standing there and everybody else has drifted away. You're still standing yeah. there saying, yeah. No. Hello, and, and, and what is the issue here? <laughs> well, I mean, that's what it's really about. Yeah. What is the issue like, here? My, 
my realization of, of, of attraction to women <coughs> was the same type of thing in a way that somebody just questioned uh, me and said, but you're a lesbian. So, and I, I, it never crossed my mind, in fact. You know, I'd been a whole jolly hockey sex type of girl, but it hadn't crossed my mind. And I'd had fantastic <laughs> affairs with men. And so I said to her, no, no, well, I'm not a lesbian. I don't understand why you think I'm a lesbian. She said, but of course you're a lesbian. So I said, I'm, I'm so not a lesbian. In fact, I'll give you phone numbers you can check. I mean, I can give you a CV on, on my like, sexual preference. She says, no, no, you're definitely a lesbian. And I... I suppose, being the thinking person that I tend to be and overthink things, I stepped back after that conversation and said, well, why are you reacting to that? Why are you actually reacting to this, this statement so vehemently? Why, why, why don't you think that you're a lesbian? And then I thought, well, there is no reason why. Of course, I went back to Varsity the next day and there was like 52% of the society that was very attractive. <laughs> and then I was very confused, you know. But it, it, it's all about... Just following a path in, in a way and, and, and questioning things. But, but being true to yourself, you know, and, and, and challenging it. Um, yeah. If you want to go on anecdotes on that, then that was the journey that I went on. I questioned why, why, why did I think that I wasn't a lesbian? And there was no reason. I found a whole world out there and, and women were fantastic. And so, yeah, off I went to the nearest track gay bar <laughs> yeah it's all all there after was fun <laughs> i don't know what else to say about that it was fun no is that okay uh, well yeah it gets better and better and better let me tell you <laughs>